so I've got some pretty incredible news to share with you. Really perfect for Christmas. If you, real, if you remember, if you were around here about a year ago, we did a video or we included in a video a little mention of a young dad with a young family whose 10-month-old little girl had a really crazy rare form of childhood cancer. And we just let you know about that. And here's what happened next. You showed up and you donated almost $35,000 to help them with their expenses. I'm going to read a couple excerpts from this letter. I, there's not time to read all of it, and you couldn't stand it. I couldn't get through all of it, but I'm going to get through the parts of it I can. But let me encourage you to go to the notes. We're going to have most of the text of the letter there, especially those of you who were able to step forward, you know, and, and be part of this. Our daughter went from being an energetic, beautiful, 10-month-old baby to having to face a seemingly never-ending series of horrific treatments that took an incredible toll on her and on us for the better part of 10 months. Your money went the entire distance, providing us with the funds necessary to stay in hotels for treatments, offset our medical bills, and it aided in our transportation costs. Without your help, I would have had to essentially live at work in order to fund everything that she needed during that time. Thanks to your support, I was able to spend the maximum amount of time with her and my wife through all of it. She was 10 months old when she was diagnosed with the cancer and she learned to walk in the hospital. She learned how to say her first words in the hospital. So many of her milestones were achieved inside of a sterile environment full of people with more patience than time. Skipping forward. This community is extraordinary. Your generosity absolutely changed my family's life and there is no way that I can ever thank you folks enough. Our reality is now one of hope and happiness. While the specter of future cancers are still out there looming in the potential future, we at least get to have this time to enjoy our lives and have a Christmas together without the possibility of visiting the cancer ward. Just that simple fact is enough to make my family happy beyond compare. And you all were no small part of that. Thank you from my family to yours. Merry Christmas. Nick Pelletier and family. So if you are only able to take one thing, one bit of advice away from this channel, let me tell you what my experience has been in what has been perhaps one of the very most important decisions I ever made. And that is having kids has contributed more to my satisfaction, to my happiness, to my feelings of having engaged with something truly worthwhile and to frankly making me fully human than anything else. And if I would have missed that opportunity back in my 20s and my 30s, it would have settled into me by now that I missed the big opportunity. Having kids and then being their dad fully is the best gift you can give the old man that is waiting for you in your future. Thanks for watching and keep up the good work. Yay, fun. And I'm going to you bring your GoPro everywhere. So I can remember you. And this is the face I'm in. Oh, I love that one. Where's another baby? Holly. 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 Enjoy it? Watch it. One. Oh, did I say it? Did I say it? Oh, 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 did I say it? I like the birdie. Fly like the birdie. Ice cream.